Good morning. I get asked a lot of questions about my um, what I feed my other plants, um, violets, etc. This is what I use to feed my violets or any other house plants that I use or have. Um, I'm not just promoting jacks, um, but I do use their products. Um, the hydro hydroponic nutrients that I use are mainly from him. Um, I love their company. They, they have great stuff. They've been in the hydroponic business for years and years and years and fertilizer business for years and years and years. And they, they just put out a great, great product. I don't have any issues when I use a Jack's product. Um, all I, all I use, and this will last me for years. I've got about 60 plus violets, but, um, I'll just give you an idea how much I use. Uh, that's still even a little bit much. It's the very, 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 very bottom line. It's like one eighth of a teaspoon. It's like that much. It's really, really tiny amount. I'll put that into a gallon jug full of water, warm water, let it mix real well. And that's what I use to water my violets. I use a pump sprayer like that right there. And I mix it into the pump sprayer. I use wicks in the bottom of my pots. And um, what I use for wicks is, um, I was in construction for years and years and years, and I always kept extra boot laces with me because I broke them on a regular basis, daily sometimes, um, climbing around on steel or checking things. And um, so I have a lot of old boot laces laying around. I used to keep in knotted ones and extra ones. So this is what I use. I'll cut them off, tie a knot into it, take a lighter and burn each end so it doesn't come undone. These are nylon. They don't rot. Or like this right here. I'll put a knot in it, slip it through the bottom of the pot. And I put them in the trays like that. That's how I water. I water into the trays using my spray bottle. And I'll spray into the bottom of the trays. I can pick a pot up and check its weight or real quick with my finger to see if it needs water. I'll spray into the pot. It wicks it up. After every, after every third or fourth watering, I'll water from the top of the plant. And I'll take that same spray bottle, lift the leaves and water from the inside of the plant, let it flush out from underneath. And that's all I do. That's all I do for watering my violets. Now, and I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. This, everybody needs to do what works best for their situation and for their setup and their, their garden area, grow area, etc. Um, I'm not putting any of the other, other methods down. I just don't use the, the um, large reservoir underneath my violence. It's just my particular method is all, or my preferred method, I should say. Anyway, um, just wanted to show this real quick. Um, get out there and grow in your garden, work with your plants today. Have a wonderful afternoon.